arrived at Abbasok Beach where the tide is quite far in and there's jellyfish everywhere. What do you think the jellyfish eat? I don't think most of the people here know because loads of people are in the water and they can get stung by jellyfish and uh, that's not a good deal even though I've never been stung by one before. So this is probably going to be my favourite stop on this little tour of Wales we're doing because Abbasok is cool as hell. So we've just set up now, we've just got our little blanket and our boards and we've got our sandwich bag full of goodies. We went to Tesco this morning and just bought some sandwiches, some crisps and some water, which Logan spilt half in the car by the way, that was fun. Um, and now we're just about to eat and relax. Should we bury him? Yes. So as you can see, the adventurous one is lying in a coffin of sand, ready to be buried alive. And the dozy one is flicking it in his face. As a recent lover of beach life, and that's like the last three days, it's just dead relaxing, isn't it? Apart from the kids, obviously. And the constant noise and need. But once they get to a certain age, we can just all chill out and they can look after themselves. Be happy with that. Hello. It's really starting to take shape, that Lorraine. Love what you're doing with the place. Oh, they're just roomy architectural flair. Come on, Lord. So over that way is what's called the Warren. And if you don't know what the Warren is, Google it. They're like super nice caravan site. But the views and the plots on that are unreal. <laughs> Happy with it, love? No. No. Children keep throwing water at it. You did make them a little waterfall though, which is rather nice. I know. I want to put some sandcastles in the middle, but I don't want to do that yet because we'll just end up knocking it out of water. Mm. Uh, a bit dull today on the old Abbasok, isn't it? It is, but it was a bit like this in Tenby and we caught the sun. Tenby was unreal, nah, the sun was out in Tenby. But this is a bit dull. I think the sun's going to come out between four and eight, but. Flies like white tops, don't they? Flies like white tops, pass it on. Hey, hey Logan! Gracia. Go! Well, he's faster, isn't he? He's actually faster, isn't he? The four-year-old is faster than the nine-year-old. But we'll have to tell the nine-year-old he won. <laughs> Water's freezing, isn't it? Yeah. The water is a lot cooler than it was in Tembe, which makes me think, I might not be getting in there. Okay. Next on the list, inflatable kayak. What do you think, Lorraine? That could be me and you setting off into the sea. Remember that fella who faked his own death by going to sea? Harold Bishop. Harold Bishop? He was on the... no, he was in Neighbours. There's no happened to him in Neighbours. Was it? Yeah, I'm oh, sure it was. I don't remember that, obviously. But no, I'm sure someone. It was a boat set off to sea, faked their own death and turned up in Cuba or something. I'm gonna need to Google that. There's a bloke over there then on his uh, stand-up paddleboard, just lying on it. That's why I want one. Get one. Run paddle 50, 100 meters out and just relax. I mean, I can make a couple of sandcastles, but this is something else. What do you think, Ethan? Logan? What do you think? Ethan, maybe a nice thing. Look who's that. You see him? Yeah. How cool is that? That's funny. It's awesome, isn't no, it? Look. 
But we're off now to meet some friends at a, what is it, like a bar, cafe type thing? Yeah, it's Coffee cafe shop. At the end, over there. So we're going to go over there, which is right round the end of the bay. I want a jet ski. So, so bad. Can we get a jet ski, please? Get the camper van first. So the day after we get the camper van, <laughs> I'm going to go and buy a jet ski. So we've just got back from the beach to the car, loading it up with all our gear, and next to us is a camper van. I feel like I'm being trolled by camper vans this trip. It's surely only a matter of time before I was arrived. Beach was ace, beach was really, really good. And I feel like we've got a really good tan all of a sudden, which never happened, so I'm buzzing. Time is now five past four, car park's getting a bit emptier. Still full, but there's a lot more spaces. And we're just gonna get changed, get the kids changed quick, and now head into Abersock and have a little look at some of the shops. We have just walked up from the beach and now we are heading towards Abersock past some absolutely stunning houses. There's some belters, isn't there? Yeah, gorgeous. I can literally smell the money. Oh no. I think it might be that drain. So we've just been in here and we've just made some purchases, haven't we, Ethan? Ethan's wearing one already. Oh! My hat. Your hat, I like it. Put nice. Mask on. I have got my mask on. <laughs> Safety <laughs> first <off> and second. <laughs> so, if anybody hasn't been to Abbasock before, this is just to give you a bit of an idea. There's just a little strip of restaurants and shops right behind the beach. This is really nice. I've had a few pasta martinis in there. <laughs> Well, have you? Yeah. I'm struggling for fish and chips, but you've had a few pawns down martinis in there. When I came with Laura and the girls once. So down there you've got some shops here, there's another restaurant down there, there's another pub down there, and there's another shop down there, there's another restaurant down there, it just goes on. So it's really nice. We stood right next to this one here, which is the Tuds, so the Tud Walls Inn. And then there's a fish and chip shop next door, and there's a queue, I think, already starting over there, behind that man. And then there's some other shops over the road, the pharmacy, and Ethan. Hi. So we're just walking back to the car. Logan's on my shoulders, obviously. Say hello. Hello. And I'd like to show you the house that me and Lorraine are going to move into next. That is a bit of me. And it's about 300 yards to the beach. What a stunning house that is. Well, our day in Abbasock is done. We're walking back to the car. Just done a bit of shopping as you've seen. And now we're gonna stop, hopefully somewhere soon, and get some food, because I and the kids, and I'm assuming Lorraine, although she never says it, is starving. Probably should have said this at the start of the day, but we've parked here, um, right on the beach car park. And if the car park is full, you have an overflow just there, over that side, where you can also park. It's and it right only cost, cost me £5.20 for eight hours, which is uh, more than reasonable, I'd say. We've just pulled up for fish and chips in what looks like Dinas, D-I-N-A-S, Dinas, Dinas, unsure. But what a place this is, what a find. Nice rocky beach. Look at that. So we're just gonna get traditional fish and chips. It's a bit too salty. Yeah, it's way too salty. Yeah, it's way too salty. There's ours, Logan. We
we are just in the car after a lovely fish and chips on the beach. Yeah. On the, on the pier? Yeah, Not the pier. The promenade Lorraine, of course. What a lovely setting that was. We're technically in Carnarvon, in Dinas. Still not got the gist of that. Morning everyone, we are in Carnarvon. That's a big castle. Sun's out, hot. So we've come away today just for the day with me dad. You okay, son? Yeah. Happy? Yeah. New haircut? Yeah. Ready for school? No. Oh, but my dad's just said, as we were walking past all of the houses, generally in little towns like this in Wales, all the houses are painted like individually different colours and they look stunning generally. We just stopped there when we arrived for a little coffee. Logan decided to order an ice cream, a cake and a hot chocolate. So I had half an ice cream, half a cake and half a hot chocolate. Screaming kids everywhere. I think we uh, there's three three adults, two kids, um, and that cost us thirty three pounds to get an interview around the castle. But it's uh, I think you get a book guide book with it, so that should be an interesting read. And also it's massive. It seems a lot bigger inside than it is outside. What do you think this room would be? And this is the lounge. The desk room. The snug. The snug. Because it's a nice little fireplace. Yeah, you'd have a telly on the wall. There was no such thing as electric back then. There was. You'd have a telly on the wall with Sky Sports. <laughs> nice octangular sofa. Yeah, you could make this your own. I want, I want all of these. I want all of these. And I want it's like our very own Veruca Salt. Shining a torch in your face and climbing up these stairs isn't the one. Imagine though, drinking a load of mead, trying to find your bedroom after a big night in the 1700s. <laughs> Tell me what. I think I've made it. Well, we can't go up the top. Made it. Oh. Come on, Lorraine, you can do it. Good God. I've asked for some meat to be delivered to the bedroom. 
cool castle this as castles go but it's as if they didn't think ahead they didn't think in a few hundred years vloggers will be coming we need to make it well lit because it's very dark and dingy two out of ten on trip advisor we've headed over to ross niger now in anglesey so we've stopped off at a place called the oyster catcher i've been here a few times paddy's been here too with me and it's really good so there's fish and chips on the go there's a burger on the go ethan's had a burger logan's had chicken nuggets and chips and i've had a really nice salad which i'm still eating i have just been back to the car to change the battery in the gopro we are now in ross niger on anglesey which is uh, in my top three places in Wales to come and visit. If you've not been, I really suggest you do because it is absolutely stunning. And Daniel Craig lives around here. The house behind me we stayed in a few years ago with a load of friends. They used to rent it out, but someone has since bought it and fully renovated it now. But at the time, in one of the downstairs toilets, there was a um, an article from Orange, the phone network, so I can't help but feel that the guy who used to own it had something to do with orange and probably given this given where the house is and the size of it it was probably well to do within orange because this was his view so we are now on Ross Niger Beach and I've never seen it this busy, but it is bank holiday. So, what do I expect? Logan is straight in the water. Came here with my family. My mum fell in them rocks <laughs> straight onto her bum. She was fine. I'm laughing because she was fine. So, for anyone that is a fan of James Bond and loves Daniel Craig, this one here, the great with the grey roof, is his house or his holiday home or his family holiday home. Say what? Something like that. Yeah. So, when you're about to leave the beach, someone just decides he wants to cover himself in sand. Good morning, you have joined us from Movama. So this is What's that? I'll give you some historical stuff about Movama. Oh yeah, it's uh Wales's largest hill. Uh, opened in 1987 by Prince Charles, I believe. And um, come on, Patrick, fill us in. You've been here before. I did do my Duke of Edinburgh award. He's told me this about three times now since we've been here. I like to keep it under wraps. It's a lot like the charity work I do. You know, I don't like to talk about the charity work I do. But um, Duke of Edinburgh. Oh. Please take your dog on the lead. Yes, so many moons ago I did my Duke of Edinburgh award. Started off at Loggerheads, I remember, camping in a field with all my schoolmates, eating cold beans out the tin for breakfast. I think it was beans and pork sausage. Mm. That reminds me of my friend. This is not uh, camping related nor um, Duke of Edinburgh related, but my friend Holly, I'll name and shame her. She, after a night out of drinking a few um, a few Bacardi breezes, she decided to make herself something to eat when she got in. And the only thing she could find was a tin of soup. So she had cold soup in bed. And I think it was like chunky soup. Blech. So the kids are out front and my mum's there with the sticks as well. She's joined us today. I think she thinks we were going up Snowden. <laughs> She's got a... a a hiking sticks, but just a train as well. <laughs> Good job, what's happened now? Bless her. But isn't this a gorgeous view? A raft come through. <laughs> Alan, 
the only Welsh I know. <laughs> I'm getting pure anxiety at this uh, path and Logan just running on it. Can't help but feel he'll end up down there with the sheep. About halfway up, he wanted to get on my shoulders. Nice one, Logs. Comfy up there, son. Yes. We made it. Woohoo! Hello. 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 On the way back down when you get to the bottom. I know this. Good. Yes, go back down.